I call myself a software engineer, not just a programmer. Hi, welcome back to Dear Mandy. I think this is gonna be the first video where you're gonna see me in this new haircut with my bangs. It's been a quite a few months, but I haven't filmed in this haircut. So today I really wanna talk about why my job title says software engineer, not programmer, not coder, not software developer. Basically in a place like Silicon Valley Bay Area, you'd be surprised how many people kind of lump all of the IT, software engineer, like DevOps and all of those into programmers basically. And I wouldn't say they're wrong. I think we all do some part of programming. But for me, it's like, there's a reason why we're called software engineers and not just programmers. Well, first of all, if you've seen my day in the life as a software engineer, if you haven't, I'll put it in the cards up right there. Software engineers build software end to end. The programming part of it is just one little piece of it. So we go from designing a software, we go from, you know, implementing it, which is kind of like coding it. We do testing it, we think about scalability, we think about maintenance, we think about, uh, I don't know, the user experience. Like the end-to-end -end flow, that's what makes us software engineers. We engineer software. And sometimes you know how when you tell people you're an engineer? And they're like, probably thinking, so you either build buildings, you're building cars, you're building airplanes, you're building something that's like more physical. They don't associate software with those physical things. These apps that you use on your phone every single day, those are software and we are engineers who engineer those software. And you'll kind of see job titles out there that are like maybe software developers, programmers, um, I don't know, Java programmers, Python programmers. So software developers where they develop software, but then they don't exactly engineer software. And kind of like what that difference is that development, developing software is more like you kind of know what to do already and like you're literally gonna be the one who's like typing the code and like programming the code whereas like engineering the software is really about think it think of it end to end design it from end to end think about all the different solutions think about the whole system think about what frameworks you're going to use what kind of tools can help you achieve that part that particular part of your software and all of the things that i've mentioned above is something that i do at my job and that's why I call myself a software engineer. And pro the programming part is only a little part of it. I'd say that depending on what I'm working on, I'm maybe not even working programming for 50% of my time. And another reason why I think calling ourselves, and, and we are, a software engineer is that coding or like the act of coding and programming is really just a tool for you to build something. And you know how in coding and programming you can have a lot of different programming languages. And those to me, I really see them just as tools to help you achieve your end goal. It's just kind of like in real life, you have a lot of different like languages from different countries. Um, they could all mean the same thing, but they just use a different way to express that. And that's why a lot of people when they're looking for software engineering jobs or internships, like companies don't value like really hardly like a hard requirement for you to know a certain language. It's always a plus. It's always if you are able to pick up a language really quickly. It's not that you, let's say you learn Python and you know how to build software. Even in college, when you're studying your computer science degree, you might step into your first like CS class, you'll like kind of like start learning your first language, whether I think the most popular is probably like Python or Java. Like you spend maybe, I don't know, a few weeks learning about like the actual language. And after that, you're essentially using that language to build all of your data structures, you use that language to learn your object-oriented programming, you use the language to build some kind of programs. You build your tic-tac-toe, you build your, you know, the really basic games projects that you do in your first class. We're not taking four years of our lives to, you know, just type some stuff, you know? Um, we're really using programming to 
tap into a lot of the different concepts within computer science. A lot of your data structures, a lot of your algorithms. You're just using those programming languages to build whatever thing that you're trying to build. It's really a tool. You are not spending four years to learn programming languages. We're spending four years to learn a lot of fundamental computer science concepts um, that we'll end up using when we're building software, when we're building, I don't know, AI bots and like all the other machine learning stuff. Yeah. So hopefully this video also helped you prepare for when someone is asking you what is a software engineer and how does that differ from the developer, the coder, the programmer, and you know, all of those people. But if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments down below and we'll be sure to chat there. If you enjoyed today's video, it would be really really great if you give me a big thumbs up down there. And if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and also click the bell next to it so that you can get notified on whenever I post a new video. And remember, my goal here is to help you grow as a software engineer or as a computer science student. And I guess for this video, raise awareness about software engineers. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!